Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren. Dear ladies and gentlemen, the US warfare in Syria is being expanded. I warmly welcome you to today's topic in a studio in Koblenz. US President Barack Obama visited Saudi Arabian King Abdullah III from March 28th to the 29th in 2014. David Ignatius, a columnist for the Washington Post, who has strong connections with high-level CIA officials, reported on the topics being discussed by the two heads of state as follows. The Obama administration appears to have decided to expand its covered program of training and assistance for the Syrian opposition, deepening U.S. involvement in that brutal and stalemated civil war. Among others, part of the implementation entails doubling the number of the FSA rebels who are trained in the camps in Saudi Arabia, Qatar and Jordan. Besides that, the training shall no longer be done by the military, but by the CIA. Additionally, the USA wants to use police and border patrols in the cities that have been conquered by the FSA, the Free Syrian Army. According to the former German television special correspondent Christoph Herstel, this war was planned and directed by the USA from the very beginning. For this reason, doubling the armed forces is not an act of fighting terrorism, but another military strike against Syria. This is supported by a quote from the Middle East expert Peter Scholatur. The entire Western politics is characterized by hypocrisy. Dear ladies and gentlemen, please help to bring this hypocrisy to light and distribute this broadcast. Join us again tomorrow when we welcome you to Kla TV. Thank you very much. This was Koblenz.